Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My brothers and sisters, let's acknowledge our sins, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mystery. You were sent to heal the contrite of hearts. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Pour forth, we beseech you, O Lord, your grace into our hearts, that we, to whom the incarnation of Christ your Son was named known by the message of the angel, may, through the intercession of Blessed Virgin Mary, by his passion and cross, be brought to the glory of his resurrection, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Galatians. Brothers and sisters, realize that it is those who have faith who are children of Abraham. The scripture which saw in advance that God would justify the Gentiles by faith foretold the good news to Abraham, saying, Through you shall all the nations be blessed. Consequently, those who have faith are blessed, along with Abraham who had faith. For all who depend on works of the law are under a curse. For it is written, Cursed be everyone who does not persevere in doing all the things written in the book of the law and that no one is justified before God by the law is clear. For the one who is righteous by faith will, will live. But the law does not depend on faith. Rather, the one who does these things will live by them. Christ ransomed us from the curse of the law by becoming a curse for us. Christ ransom, I'm sorry, for it is written, cursed be everyone who hangs on a tree, that the blessing of Abraham might be extended in the Gentiles through Christ Jesus, so that we might receive the promise of the Spirit through faith. The word of the Lord. Amen. Our responsorial song. The Lord will remember his covenant forever. The Lord will remember his I will give thanks to the Lord with all my heart in the company and assembly of the just. Great are the works of the Lord, exquisite in all, th in all their delights. The Lord, the Lord, the Lord, the Lord. Majesty and glory are his work, and his justice endures forever. He has won renown for his wondrous deeds. Gracious and merciful is the Lord. The Lord He has given food to those who fear him, 
he will forever be mindful of his covenant. He has made known to his people the power of his works, giving them the inheritance of the nations. The Lord will remember his covenant forever. When Jesus had driven out demons, some of the crowd said, By the power of Beelzebub, the prince of demons, he drives out demons. Others who tested him asked him for a sign from heaven. And he knew their thoughts and said to them, Every kingdom divided against itself will be held waste, will be laid waste, and house will fall against house. And if Satan is divided against himself, how will his kingdom stand? For you say it is by Beelzebub that I drive out demons. If I then drive out demons by Beelzebub, by whom do your own people drive them out? Therefore they will be your judges. But if it is by the finger of God that I drive out demons, then the kingdom of God has come upon you. When a strong man fully armed guards his palace, his possessions are safe. But when one stronger than he attacks and overcomes him, he takes away the armor on which he relied and destroys the spoils. Whoever is not with me is against me. The Lord does not gather with me scatters. When an unclean spirit goes out of someone, it roams through the arid region, searching for rest, but finding none, it says, I will return to my home from which I came. And upon returning, it will find it swept clean and put in order. Then it goes and brings back seven other demons, more wicked than itself, who move in and dwell there. And the last condition of that man is worse than the first. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise you, Lord Jesus Christ. <laughs> Today we celebrate the memorial of Our Lady of the Rosary. And our readings today speak to us about evil spirits. And one of the great tools that we have to face evil is the rosary, often called a weapon against that evil. And for us, when we take upon the rosary, we're reminded of the power of Blessed Mother in our lives, being able to combat whatever may befall us. And it's that reliance that we see in the Holy Rosary, that we have the Lord there protecting us by calling upon the name of the Lord in our lives, reminding ourselves of the life of the Lord, reminding ourselves of the life of the Lord, as well as that life of the Blessed Mother. And again, the Blessed Mother always pointing towards God each and every day of her life on earth and eternally in heaven, constantly reminding us of the Son. And the Rosary does that as we walk through that life between those glories, between those sorrows, between those great joyous and uh, ones of light that are reminded of ourselves walking with the Lord. And as we walk for, with the Lord, that evil that we face, those struggles that we face can be combated because we know that the Lord is at our side, the Lord 
is with us. And the rosary reminds us of that. So we receive that strength, receive that knowledge that we are protected by God. My dear sisters and brothers, let us continually be great defenders of the rosary and users of the rosary in our lives, so that through the great prayers of the rosary and the intercession of Our Lady of the Rosary, we might continually know that victory, the victory where we receive that name, that victory over danger, that victory over uh, evil, the victory over those things in our lives that keep us away from the Lord that we might be continued united in the Lord through Our Lady here on earth and eternally in heaven. My dear sisters and brothers, resisting the spirits that oppress God's people, let us offer our prayers and petitions to our Heavenly Father. That Christ may set all people free from the power of pride and privilege, we pray to the Lord. Amen. That Christ may set all people free from the demons of violence and war, we pray to the Lord. Lord that Christ may set all people free from the lure of wealth and greed. We pray to the Lord. Lord that Christ may set all people free from the chain of addiction and abuse. We pray to the Lord. Lord that Christ may set all people free from the bonds of sickness and pain. We pray to the Lord. Lord let us pray for Ronald Buchan and for peace in our world, especially Ukraine. We pray to the Lord. Lord that Christ may set people free from the grip of death and despair. We pray to the Lord. Lord and for your own intentions. Lord, help us be the bearer of the fruit of the Holy Spirit in our daily life. Love, peace, joy, patience, kindness, gentleness, generosity, self-control. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the end of abortion in the world, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, we pray that we will continue to spread the devotion to our Blessed Mother. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For these prayers and prayers and sounds of our hearts, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Hear our prayer, God of heaven and earth, and drive out from among us all that separates us from life with you, life with you. May all live in the freedom you promise. In Christ, our hope and healer. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we receive the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands will become for us the bread of love. Blessed be God, your Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we receive the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be Pray, brothers and sisters, my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Grant, we pray, O Lord, that we may be 
rightly conform to these offerings we bring, and so honor the mysteries of your only begotten Son, as to be made worthy of his promises, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, to praise your mighty deeds and the exaltation of all your saints, especially as we celebrate the memory of the Blessed Virgin Mary, to proclaim your kindness as we echo her thankful hymn of praise. For truly, even to earth's ends, you have done great things, you have extended your abundant mercy from age to age. When you look on the lowliness of your handmaid, you gave us through her the offer of our salvation, your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Through him, the host of angels adores your majesty, and we joyce in your presence forever. May our voices be praised, join with theirs, the one chorus of exalted praise as we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation. Giving thanks to have called us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. How we may pray to partake of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, and Blaise, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, with St. Hugh, St. Paul VI, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages. We may merit to be co heirs to eternal life. May praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours, forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come. Thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. 
that I may our sin bound faith in your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you all. Let's offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my room, but only say the word that my soul shall be healed. Behold, you will conceive in your womb and bear a son, and you shall name him Jesus.
Let us pray. We pray, O Lord our God, that just as you be proclaimed in the sacrament of the death and resurrection of your Son, so be made partakers in his suffering. We may also merit a share in his consolation and his glory. Who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you. The Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth. The Mass is ended. Thanks be to God. Dear let's pray and hail Mary for these of our church, of our world, and of our community. May the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Dear let's pray the prayer for our mother of mothers. Mother of mothers, holy queen, chosen before all women. To be the mother of the Son of God. Mary, my mother, who in your maternity has so sanctified the state of Holy Mother, implore of thee I come to you, humbly I beseech you, confidently I trust you. I know that you can, by your own powerful intercession, help me in my need. In you I take refuge, dear Virgin, for in me I place my will entirely in you. I relinquish all confidently in your hands, betray not my own. Trust, but hear my petitions and come to my aid, dear Mother of Mothers. Amen. Mother of Mothers.